it's weird, it's kind of crept up on all of us. I mean, when we started, we were in the Renaissance Hotel, I think we had, I don't think we had 100 people. And this year, here we are, 10 years down the line, we have 330. We could have sold this 10 times over, at least. I mean, I was joking with John at lunchtime, saying, next year, can we all go out on the stadium? Because I don't know where we're going to go after this. Brilliant, I mean, absolutely brilliant. It started off as a kind of, well, if they can do private Britain, you know, can we do private Britain? We're all a bit... Let's try it. Um, it's been fantastic. The reaction of people to it has been fantastic. It's a huge event now, you know, in the Reading annual calendar. And you just think, I'm very proud to be part of it. I'm, I don't know, I find it difficult to talk about because it, it is quite real and it is quite emotional. But also, it's, it's kind of trite when you say things like, I find it very simple. But actually, I do. I think I'm a big strong boy, I've had a fantastic life, you know, I've, I've loved the world and I've had all sorts of awards and financial you know success or whatever but you look at just ordinary people in Reading the town where I was born and think I don't know in that situation if I could do that if I could have been that brave that unselfish if I could have walked back into that building that was on fire or rescued that child from a railway line I mean we hear the most extraordinary stories of, of courage and you know selflessness every year well, Pride of Reading just continues to be, after year 10, just among the most important things as a newspaper we do. I mean, you've seen today just some unbelievable winners who just, you know, in my mind have just done things for the community that are well and over and above what other people do and local and normal people do. Uh, you know, this is year 10 of Pride of Reading. Um, we've just been so blessed to be able to reward just some unbelievable people. And, you know, this year has just been no exception for me. I was just ecstatic just to be here and to be nominated for the award, let alone to win the award for this outstanding achievement. Um, I mean, it was wow. an honour to get shortlisted and everything else. And then, as soon as, as soon as I saw that video, that was it. The, the, the tears just started. As soon as they mentioned the two, two young adult sides, I just knew it was us. I could feel it. I was like, my heart was going, like, I couldn't stop, but I, kept, I held the tears back. I had no idea. Uh, what was going on, I, I basically came for the lunch, <laughs> which was really nice. The emotion hit me um, whilst I was watching the video, so I was shaking a bit. <laughs> but it was, it was cool. Yeah. Me even to be here, I wouldn't have dreamed of coming. I mean, something so big and to, to play such a role in what we did and get what we've got out of it, it's just the ice on the cake, I suppose. Somebody always ends up crying, it's usually me and the guys around me. And people say, did you have a good afternoon? I said, yeah, I had a really good time. I said, what was it like? I said, well, I cried my eyes out. I think, well, that was that a good day. But it, it's kind of rewarding. And, you know, 10 years down the line, we never thought we'd do 10. We might do 10 more, you know. If the Lord spares us, we'll do year 20. It's been a fantastic afternoon again. And let's do, you know, let's do lots more. But the Reading Post is about changing things and recognising what people do in the community. And Pride of Reading today has demonstrated that yet again.